Hello, I am Professor Stephen Abbott. In these three short videos on printing, I discuss some simple models developed with my colleague Professor Nick Kapoor at the University of Leeds, which provide great insights into the fundamentals of screen printing, flexo printing, and gravure. So we start with screen. What I'm showing here is described also in How to Be a Great Screen Printer, the book I edited when I was at McDermott Autotype, and which is freely downloadable from the website shown here. Most people totally misunderstand screen printing. It's very, very simple. First of all, you flood. Most people think the flood is designed to fill the mesh right down to here, but in fact you want a relatively light flood, which just covers the top. Then the squeegee comes along, and people say, ah, the squeegee does the printing. Well, the squeegee does no printing at all. So here it comes along. What's it doing? Well, first of all, it pushed the mesh in contact with the substrate. Second, it's filling the mesh with ink. And third, it's scraping off the excess. Let's carry on. So the squeegee has gone, but nothing has happened. Nothing has been printed because the squeegee is just off to the right of the screen and is holding the mesh in place. When the squeegee moves on a considerable distance, then the mesh can start to rise. And people say, ah, then the ink comes out of the mesh. No, wrong again. The mesh comes out of the ink. Let's watch. The mesh comes up because without the squeegee pushing it down, it must come up. And as it comes up, it just comes out of the ink. The ink has to wrap around forming a meniscus. That's how fluids flow. And notice something very interesting. Where is the most ink? The most ink is underneath the mesh. People say, oh, no ink can get through the mesh. In fact, the biggest ink deposit is actually under the mesh fibre. We continue a bit more, and this liquid bridge snaps. You get a blob left behind, and then we finished. Just do that all in one go. There we go, easy. If we have a stencil, then it's quite straightforward. And if we do something like have a dot on dot printing, then we immediately see the problem. The flood or the squeegee pressure have not been enough to push enough ink through, and so actually nothing happens. If we increase the flood pressure to, let's say, 70%, so have a stronger flood, then the ink is touching, but it's not filling. So when you print, it leaves a little blob behind, so-called skipping. So if we increase both of them, not recommended, but we have no choice here, then you get a proper dot printed. With these very simple insights into how screen printing really works, life becomes much easier for screen printers. The science of this is downloadable in a paper written by myself with Professor Kapoor and others, so you can understand it in full.